The Presto handstand is maybe one of the most beautiful handstand skills you can work on, but getting with your feet off the floor just by using your strength may be impossible and feel impossible even after years of practice. Well, that's why I'm here. I'm uh, the flexibility guy, Coach Alia, and in this video I'm going to show you a strategy, a critical strategy you do want to use if you want to learn the handstand press. The flexibility guy, Coach Alia. Question, why does the handstand press feel so impossible to do? Because you start with your feet on the floor. And uh, in order to do that, you need a lot of strength and flexibility to lift your feet with the strength of your body. Solution, we're going to use some of these or some higher boxes. This means that we're going to raise our feet up. We're going to move our feet up. This is going to allow us not to work at that depth. We're going to use a little bit less range of motion and uh, thanks to that we're going to use a little less strength and flexibility. Alright, so the strategy is quite simple. You do want to perform a handstand press starting with your feet on some high boxes, but do you know that in a handstand press you have to think about three key points. Let's talk about it. Point number one, start with your feet as high as needed. Lean onto your hands, round your back, push with your shoulders, get light on the blocks. Point number two, drive your shoulders back and your legs up. Stop in a straddle. When you have the balance, close your legs in full. Keeping your shoulders in the same place at all times. Now reverse, straddle, down back and Point number one. Now, the most important rule here is this. You don't want to feed your ego. And uh, I'm the prime example of that because I've been spending years trying to achieve the handsome press and uh, without success because I, I was just trying to lift my feet off the floor or of some small yoga blocks like these, but I didn't have the strength to do that. Now, the sooner you understand that you want to start from high boxes, it doesn't matter how high are your boxes. You do want to start from a high surface and then move on from there. The sooner you realize it, the better. Basically here, there are three major mistakes you don't want to make. First, you don't want to feed your ego. I want to repeat it. Just use the correct height under your feet. There's the correct height for everyone. Of course, your flexibility has to be there, all right? So you do want to have a nice pancake position. Once your flexibility is there, make sure that you're using the correct height. Second mistake, you don't want to break your fall. This means that you don't want to bend your legs, you don't want to bend your elbows. As you perform the press to handstand, you do want to keep your legs straight and keep your arms straight. If you're not doing so, this means that maybe you don't have the flexibility or the height you're working with is too low. Third mistake you don't want to make, and this is kind of a technical mistake, you don't want to leave your shoulders in front of your hands. As soon as you press, as soon as you lift your feet off the blocks, you do want to drive your legs up and out, kind of in a semicircle trajectory, and uh, drive your shoulders back on top of your hands. Because the moment you lift, your shoulders are going to travel forward. As soon as you get into a straddle position, so point number one, you do want to have your shoulders on top of your hands again. If you split the press in three main movements, so lift, transition into a straddle, stop, balance, and close your legs into full, and you feel lightness on the blocks or even on the floor when you perform the press, you're going to increase your handstand control. A couple of guidelines you can use to make sure to make progress with time are these. Each time you want to make progress, you do want to make sure to at least be able to complete six to eight reps, not in a row, just one press, rest, one press, rest, uh, until six to eight, okay, in a workout. The moment you can do that with a certain height, 
keeping the correct technique, you can decrease the height of your sports. Of course, little by little. Don't take steps which are too big. You can't cover, okay? Take a small step, you can cover. All right, so that's how you want to work on your handstand press. If this is the strategy you want to use, you may need some other exercise, a few other exercises to work on your flexibility and strength, but this has to remain your main strategy. You want to make your way to the floor by gradually lowering down the supports you're using. Remember that if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a thumb up and uh, if you have a question for me, you can leave a comment down below. I do read all the comments. Remember that if you want to work on your handstand press, on your handstands in general, you can get a personalized program with me. You're gonna jump on a call with me, we're gonna talk about your goals and I'm gonna create a personalized program for you. To do that, you may want to check the link in the description down below. With that said, have a nice handstand and see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, when you perform the handstand press, can you lift your feet off the floor like this? Or do you crash on the floor? Well, you can learn the handstand press with the handstand press book. With all the exercises and methodologies you have to follow to master your press to handstand. You can check out the handstand press book on Amazon right now.